Hi from the Festival of Genomics in London. I'm Gillian and I'm a participant in the 100,000 Genomes Project and I'm here today with Professor Mark Caulfield who is Chief Scientist for Genomics England, who is the man who's looking after all our data. Now at the end of last year, Mark, you announced that you had sequenced 100,000 genomes from people across England. Can I ask on behalf of the participants what you're going to do with that data for them this year? Our first priority is to get reports back to all the people who've not yet received a result. That's our number one priority. And our second priority then is to revisit the genomes for people who haven't yet got an answer from us to try and see if new knowledge or new ways in which we're able to analyse the genomes allows those who've not yet got a result to get one. So this is going to be a project that keeps giving new answers. Quite a lot of people have already had answers from the project that they wouldn't have got from other sources. Can you tell us a bit more about what will happen to the others? Today, about one in five people are getting a potential diagnosis from our results in rare disease and about half of the cancer patients are getting a finding that they could choose a clinical trial or possibly a medicine on the NHS that would improve the treatment of their cancer. And we hope that this will improve over the life of the programme. We intend to revisit everybody's genome and as soon as we're sure the results are reliable, we will return those to the National Health Service. But this is a really challenging thing to do and nobody else is doing it at this scale in the world. So we've had to bring live all sorts of routes to analyse the genome that didn't really exist at scale when we started. One of the unique things about this project has been sequencing whole genomes at scale, mm -hmm. but so far the analysis has been focusing on individual gene panels mm -hmm. because that's where we need to start. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us some more about what's going to happen next? So when we started, uh, the knowledge base meant we had to focus on genes and therefore we develop panels. To do that we use the entire world's literature and for some people, 40% in intellectual disability, that is making a diagnosis and getting them answers quite quickly. But we are continually evolving those panels so others will get answers and also we're now looking outside of the genes at other parts of the genome for variation that might cause disease and we bring those things live as they're invented. That's the virtue of having your entire genome. It means we can go back and apply new knowledge to get new answers for our participants. What's the time frame that we can be looking at? We aim to analyse all of the genomes for the first time in the 100,000 Genomes Project at the latest by July. And then what we will do is then start work on those who've not had a result yet. Uh, and then we plan that we will revisit the genomes about every 18 months or so as new knowledge will change and evolve answers so there will be opportunities for those who haven't yet got an answer from us to get something back in the future. But this is really challenging to do and nobody's doing it at this scale in a health system. And when you say July, that's you returning results to the NHS? That is correct. So the NHS will receive those results back and then there's a little bit of a delay while they have a look at that and then consider whether it is reliable enough to give it back to our participants. And they own the reporting of that as the clinicians caring for those patients. Is there anything else that you'd like to tell the participants today? I think what we'd like to say is although we have sequenced 100,000 genomes, that we will never give up looking for answers for patients in the programme. We may not get answers for everyone, but we will not stop trying. So this is not the end. It may be the end of the beginning, but through bringing this live in the health system and enrolling more and more people having whole genomes because of the kind donations you all made to us, we're now bringing this live in the NHS and you will become part of that family of people so that we will, by growing the data set, continually be able to generate new knowledge and more answers for the participants and they're our absolute focus. Thanks very much. Thank you.